coming up on this week's edition of Wild Cat Weekly, No Shave November, 11-11, and Envy Spirit. All this and more coming up next. And welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm Sarah Pettit. With more and more students using social networking websites, NEQA has come up with a hashtag just for NEQA students, NEQA alumni, and NEQA faculty. Scott has more on this story. This year, NEQA is making an effort to connect with students through social media using the hashtag NVSpirit. Well, uh, Dr. Fuhrer and Mr. Perry asked me to uh, speak to the student body at the PEP assembly, and I didn't really know what to say to the entire student body that would really get them more enthused than they already were. Uh, but uh, Mr. Ellinghouse and I decided that we'd we both uh, step, step up and, and do it, so I figured I'd need to have a purpose if I was going to go up there and talk to 3,000 students. So I thought about 15 minutes beforehand, I'm like, wow, you know, let's get everybody together in in one, um, I guess, mission, and that is to get everybody to look at in Nequa Valley pride in a, in a different way. We've always had pride at Nequa Valley, but we've never had spirit. And the spirit has grown immensely in the last couple of years. And I thought, well, what the heck, you know, do a hashtag NV spirit and see if we can pull these different social medias together and see what happens. Nearly 500 students have already used the hashtag on Instagram alone. Don't forget to show your envy spirit this weekend as we take on Wabonzi. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Scott DePew. Hey, do you have old phones that you're not using? Yeah, yeah, same. Well, Olivia has the answer on what you can do with your old phones that you're not using and how you can save the environment at the same time. Many NEQA students are looking for ways they can help their environment and become more eco-friendly. Starting this year, the Environmental Club will hold their first electronics recycling drive. We need to get more environmentally friendly, especially now that te technology is going to its highest peak. We have so many electronics that are just being thrown away, or I know a lot of us must have electronics just sitting in our house that we don't know what to do with. And so I think it's really important that we all play a part to help our planet. The improper disposal of electronics can have many negative impacts on the environment. One, they make landfills bigger. Two, they release toxic chemicals. And three, they deplete our limited reserve of metals. The Environmental Club is making the drive accessible to students to get the largest turnout as possible. I'm hoping that by holding it here at Niqua, near where a lot of us live, people will get more excited and they'll be more interested in what the benefits are to the environment. Students wishing to participate can gather up all their unwanted electronics from their homes. We're going to have it in the front circle near the athletics area. Cars are just going to drive up along the circle and the volunteers from the environmental club are just going to help unload their cars from any electronics. Recycling electronics is easy, safe, and free. So bring all your old cell phones, computers, TVs, and MP3 players to the circle drive this Saturday from 10 to 1 to help our planet. For a list of acceptable and non-acceptable items, please check out the MV homepage. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Olivia Schmidt. Have you ever seen students break dancing in the school cafeteria and been fascinated by what you see? Fahim has the scoop on their upcoming competition. A phenomenal dance competition is coming up here in Nico called Suburban Noise, and many new changes are being made to enhance the excitement and the intensity of this event. Well, something I'd change personally would just to have um, a bigger um, range of competitors that can come in because, you know, this year or l the last six years we've only had uh, District 204 and 203 come out, but um, with all the battles that I've been to, you know, there's a huge Chicago scene and I'd really like that, you know, some, some of the Hinsdale guys can come out and um, maybe the Plainfield guys can come out just to have um, just to allow them to, perf uh, to compete with us because it would make the competition that much bigger and uh, even better for all of our years. Experiences vary through the different dancers trying to strive for the top. The first thought that got into my head was, what am I doing? Like, what? I'm not prepared for this. I didn't train enough for this. And, you know, really going out there is, you know, scary for anyone who competes. 
Uh, anyone who has like a competition in general like is nervous and scared. But when you go out there, when you take that first step, everything changes. Like this is what you worked for. This is what you practice like hours on end for. This is what you know what you stand for. This is what your name represents. And going out there, just versing another crew, uh, is probably the best you know feeling experience you would get out of suburban noise. So. So come on Friday the 16th to the Gold Building from 6 to 9 to support your friends competing. Good luck to you all. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Fahima Me. Did you know that the Chicago Bears give a glorious opportunity every year to a high school football coach to go to a Bears game and have a chalk talk with Lovey Smith? Pooja has more on the story. Every week, the Chicago Bears choose a high school football coach to be recognized for his hard work. For week seven of the football season, Nico's head coach, Mr. Ellinghouse, was presented with this prestigious honor and received a personal phone call from Bears owner, Virginia McCaskey. I feel great. I mean, it was a, it was a tremendous honor. I was very humbled. Uh, in fact, when I first got named uh, and they called me on the phone, I didn't believe it was true. I mean, a lot of coaches, you know, after the Monzi week were like, oh, you're coach of the week, coach of the week. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Is this, is this a joke? And then actually McCaskey called me from the Bears and, and actually it was true. Once selected, Coach Ellinghouse will be honored at the Bears versus Seahawks game and will get a chalk talk with the Chicago Bears coach, Levy Smith. What I'm most looking forward to probably is meeting Lovey Smith. Um, I've never met Lovey. I've uh, been to a few Bears games. That's certainly going to be exciting to go there. And uh, really meeting him and talking to him about um, football a little bit uh, is, is pretty exciting. Only coaches who work hard towards developing students' skills can be recognized. And Coach Ellinghouse knows that this was definitely a team effort. You know, it wouldn't happen unless the kids were 7-0 at the time. So um, it's really a credit to them, and I've told the kids all that. Coach Ellinghouse has inspired as well as impacted the players in a positive way. Coach Ellinghouse, that's my boy right there. He, he is cool. Man, that's that coach, you know what I'm saying? I love that Coach Ellinghouse, man. That's, 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 he's a father to me. Coach Ellinghouse, you like a father to me, Coach Ellinghouse. You know what I'm saying? You my boy, Coach Ellinghouse. You my boy. You, you right here. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to congratulate Coach Ellinghouse. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Pooja Negum. It's No Shave November. Jack has more on this popular month. Oh my god, dude. Haley just texted me. Guess what she said? What'd she say? Dude, this is important! She said we can't do No Shave November! Do you remember what we did last year? We're not shaving, dude. Dude, oh my god, do you know what today is? Thursday? No, dude, it's November 1st! It's no shave November! We have to go get ready! I, oh, the razors. Let's go. I, yes. Oh, let's go. I, we have to get oh, rid of these. Let's let do it. Go. Mine went down the pooper. Where are yours? Aw, oh, dude, those were the days. What do you mean? They still are! I hope you all have found ways to throw away your razors. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Jack Wetlaufer. This Sunday is 11-11. Megan hits the halls to find out what Nico students will be wishing for. Food. Unlimited red mango. Okay, I wish to pass physics. World peace. Good grades. I wish for a pony. Um, a new cat. A new car. Oh, for Auburn to win a game. I wish I get a million dollars. True love. A Mikey Judek touchdown. For accounting to end. Friends. Box puppies. My parents still love me. I wish we could just bake a cake out of butterflies and rainbows and that we can all get along. Uh, to be one Wildcat Weekly, world peace. I'm just trying to get my locker open to be honest. So, like, I'm just trying to get my jacket, is there a problem? An A on my math tests. Lots of jelly beans. I have no idea what I'm going to wish for. Oh, I wish for a girl to like me. Nothing. I'm perfect, I don't need anything. A pet. 
pet dinosaur. I guess my wish for 11-11 is that it's the best day ever. Here's hoping all your wishes come true this 11-11. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Megan Ballou. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. Make sure you come out Saturday night at 6 p.m. to root on your fellow Wildcats as they take on the Wabonzi Warriors. Have a fantastic weekend. Rumor has it, The War of 204 has a sequel. We're not talking Sandlot 2 here. We're talking Star Wars quality sequel. I know one thing for certain. We're gonna pack the house on Saturday night. Because when push comes to shove, we have a power that no one else has. Nico power. Because everybody knows how Star Wars ends. With the good guys on top. Warm up those jump shots, Warriors. There's always basketball season.